Hi guys, um, I wanted to try something new today and um, it's David John Jeffrey by the way, Invisible Sword Productions channel and I'm doing art again. I'm doing art right now because I started getting a bunch of people logging onto my live stream and I did a, a picture probably about half an hour ago um, of, a, of a bird and I have some extra um, oil left over and basically I didn't want to waste it so I was encouraged to draw something else and uh, paint something else and I thought a really nice thing that I, something I really enjoy doing is landscapes so I without a reference picture I'm going to draw a landscape from scratch because um from scratch because um I love landscapes look so it's just going to be a bit of an experimental time for you and me coming together trying the oils seeing how they come out um one thing this is how i envisage it in my head so i'm just going to like draw a little doodle sketch on the page so the horizon would be like here somewhere um you'd have like a river kind of effect that would come winding down like this and then it would drop into a waterfall here. That's the theory. There we go. So, and then at the back here, I'll have some hills, yeah, like this, and then maybe some mountains, and maybe do some Bob Ross happy trees while I'm at it, because I've got into this whole Bob now. Okay, so I'm going to try and do the whole drawing with this brush only it's a big challenge because you shouldn't really do everything with one brush um however i think i could do it because you know sometimes some people say crazy things like that so first of all the 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 most important part of this picture is actually the the water and that i knew i had a lot of oil a lot of blue already on the palette and i knew i'd have to get rid of some of the white and so that's why I went for green. Um, I'm hoping that uh, you'll see this coming out soon. Here we go. And I will start to mix in some blues and really get a water theme going. So let's start with that. So Bob Ross would be like doing like this. So that's why I'm going to plan to do it like this. Easy water. Nice, easy water. Water. And it's easy water. Here's a nice little stream. Streams coming down here. Yeah, I have, I've only seen like two or three Bob Ross videos, so I, I completely, I am just guessing how he says it. I know he says it like this. He goes, and it's a lovely stream. And there's a friends with the, the forest around the stream. So at this point in this drawing, there is going to be a waterfall. Because there's a waterfall and Waterfalls are, are, are fairly difficult to draw, uh, let alone paint. I'm going to leave this one, that waterfall until the end. But that's the stream. So we can see something coming. It looks a bit like a snake on the picture, but that's what I'm going for. And now I need to bring in uh, the grass around. So the grass is going to be slightly different. So I'm going to use some of the blue and some of the yellow and make up some kind of greeny exposure there so there we go dark green there that, that's almost like a tree color so in as that's a tree color let's let's go for some trees there we go trees nice tree area there you go forest i'm learning from bob ross here the drawers trees There we go. What do you think? Looks like Bob Ross trees, doesn't it? Ah, <laughs> it looks better than I thought. All right. So um, also, of course, because the, the barks are brown, I'd have to go like this. So I now have brown bark. That's using up some of the brown from the previous video. So that's good. 
There we go. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go lighter on the green and go for uh, grass, which was the original plan. Okay, there we go. Green, green. There we go. So grassy green here. Not very really green. That's very bluey green. Let's try a lighter green there. Try and get more yellow in it, maybe. There we go. Right. Okay, so there we go. Now, I have been encouraged to say how I should compare this to my other experience of cheaper brands of uh, oil. And I have had a cheaper brand of oil. We bought, I was given this bunch of oils. Uh, I don't remember whether I was given it or I bought it. I think I was given it um, from uh, a supermarket chain with Lidl. It's a very cheap chain, uh, sells a lot of cheap branded stuff. And, uh, and I got some oils. And the oils were very, they were very solid very difficult to work with compared to these uh, this is much smoother um, i can do more texture with this than i could with those in fact i couldn't really sell, see the difference between those oils and acrylics and that that's how bad it was you know so um when i tried acrylics i was like thinking huh it's just the same as oils what's, what's the big deal here now i've tried these you can see there's a massive difference between this and acrylics there you go. Now this is coming out okay for for a demonstration. Okay, that's not coming out okay. There we go. You know, um, I have other videos on here if you're ever interested. In my art section, I have a review on the Caran d'Ache um, water soluble crayons. I do a similar kind of drawing there. So if you like these kind of landscapey pictures, then you should go and check that out after you've had a look at this video. Um, OK, so that's the end of that, because that's where I'm going to do my waterfall. Let's start the waterfall here. Now, talking about the waterfall, there is going to be, this is how it's going to be. I think we're going to have like rocks and then the water splashes over the rocks. That could be quite cool. And I, it's going to be something like black. So if I can draw in some rocks here. Here we go. Uh, here's another rock. The rocks. And I'm going to do like a... A, a rock effect coming down here because of course that's how it would be it wouldn't it wouldn't just be water running straight down there would be rocks that would be coming over um as i do this it's gonna look just like a load of blobs of, of, of black but it will change because i have it in my head how this is going to work out so this is all like rock face essentially Okay, um, and then if I take some of this here, do like this, it then becomes more of a grey effect that looks a bit more like rocks. It's a little trick I learnt when I was playing with the um, water-soluble crayons, that I could create a white and a, a black-grey effect, patterned effect, which gives a feel of rocks but you know when we get the water and it'll look much better there we go right so it's more wiped in there
looking at the notes. Uh, people are leaving. Uh, are they happy trees? I like to think they're happy trees. They may not be happy right now because they're not surrounded by anything, but soon I'll do a Bob Ross cabin next to them. How's that sound? And then if I, if I, if I do a Bob Ross cabin right now, this will show how happy the trees really are. Here we go. So. That's the start of my Bob Ross cabin. I like it already. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so I've got to make it a bit more brown than that, though. There we go. It looks like a red blob of nothingness. I'll add some detail later on. Right. Let's go back to the back, back, back to the um, waterfall. Here we go. Now I've got to create the waterfall. It's a little bit trickier to do. We use a lot more of the white, which is great. Here we go. Right. So there we go. Needs a bit of white, just a little bit of extra white, not much. I'm going to get to the end of this and I'll have more paint on the canvas than I had to start with. It's looking all right. There you go. So we have the waterfall. We have the water running up it there. Yeah, and coming over the top like that. There we go. Little patterned effect. Get some white into that. There we go. To create the waterfall effect. There we go. Right. Yes. Great. So now we've done that, and we've used up a lot of the black ink. Got managed to get rid of most of that. That's great. I'm gonna just finish it off here. Or ink, it's actually paint. <laughs> okay, great. And I'm going to run that across the bottom there. Just finish off that. There we go. Okay, great. So that's the waterfall. That's looking really good to get down to the background. Now, I've realized I've got a lot of yellow in here, so I need to mix that with the, the, the blue to get more of a a green effect for so let's use as much of this color as i possibly can to make this green otherwise i am not gonna get my challenge to use up all of the paint i dropped a bit of the color there it's okay because it the paint is now sticking it to the thing so it's good 
Everyone's laughing out there as they watch me fail in my attempt. Oh, wow, I've got someone new. Hi, Sky. <laughs> okay, so. Create like a, a brownie gray effect. Yeah, so here we go. So that's this hill. I'm going to make this hill brown. It, it adds a bit, lot of contrast to the current green. And also, it's got a bit of color in there as well. So it's going to look like um, a hill with like, better me just like red. If it was red, then you'd be like thinking, well, that doesn't look like a hill. But if I dab it on this side, I've got a bit of yellow on this brush. It's add a little good color to it. That's great. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so um, now if we take more green in, For those of you who are online, if you're new and you haven't seen my channel before or you're interested, if you have any requests to what you'd like me to paint or draw, I welcome the requests and I'd be happy to um, produce a video for you of that style. And if you have a particular medium you want me to try, whether it be painting or, or um, pencils or something, then again, I'd happily um, do something that you request Obviously, if you subscribe, you'll get a notification to say that I've finished the drawing for you. Um, so, yeah, you know, just, just ask away and I'll sort it out for you. There's another one there. And I'm going to do another hill just coming up here like this. There we go. And then I'm going to do the mountains. And then I'm going to use up that last bit of yellow for some kind of sun effect at the back with the, with the sky. Also, these are very bland mountains. I'm going to put some trees up here. But there's some, some more Bob Ross happy trees, aren't they? Otherwise, not going to work out. There we go. And a whole bunch of trees on the mountain. There we go. And they are happy trees because they're smiling. Uh, um, whoever asked, are they happy? Oh, I think they are, and I'm the artist, and essentially they are. Because that, that's it, there you go. Load of trees on top of the mountains. That looks really good. And uh, yeah, that's, that's um, that was a terrible um, shed, garden shed I did. So let's fix that. So if I get some dark colour, maybe I can fix it that way. Here we go. Yes, that's a much better shed. And uh, and then we go for the sky. So the sky is going to be interesting because I've got too much on here now. I'm going to have to wash this. <laughs> I was hoping I could do it in one run. <laughs> okay. Just wash the brush there for a second. I'm using a, um, what's it called? Put it here somewhere, here it is. Brush cleaner soap, if you're interested. It's really useful. Um, basically, swish the brush around, dip it in water, and it acts like soap, and you can always wash it later, wash the little soap later. And that gets rid of most, most of the um, stuff that's on here. Not all of it. But that's because I did have quite a lot of paint on it. And there we go. Spiritually clean. It's a tissue to wipe it clean. Get rid of mites. And now I can start the top here. And that's it, you see. I had to get to just get most of the darkness off so I could get the colour of the yellow for the sun. And make this a really nice sunset at the back. Okay, it's looking quite good, yeah. Okay, I'll get some, so I can have a little bit more clarity to the sun, there we go. 
and then I need to get some colour into it on this side, you know, because the sun isn't always completely yellow. I do have other colour in the sky. Yeah, there we go. I like this cloud effect that I do. Let's get some more blue. There we go. Blue. Um, yeah, so uh, for those of you who have only just joined, um, I did announce this at the beginning, but just in case you're coming in live now, I am using the uh, Windsor and Newton Winton um, oil colours. It's a, it's a lovely oil effect. It's, it's really nice. I'm just trying them out for the like the second time today. Um, if you had gone on my channel, you'll see my last video, which was a couple of hours ago. Um, and I got a chance to try them for the first time. And the, the picture I did of the bird there was really nice. Anyhow, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, Oh, he's painted giraffe in oils. <laughs> Bob Ross style. All right, then. Let's do that right now. Sukio, have you got a spare piece of paper? Yes, I do. Sukio is also, she has an art channel. She's right behind me. That's why she's written a few comments. Sukio's art channel. Um, and uh, we're both going to be doing some stuff now so yeah if you like what I've done then please like it um because you know I'm oh, just I'm just you. starting out <laughs> yeah I know it's really nice thank you well done David thank you just put that there if you want to buy it um I do sell these things oh yeah let me show you what I've done so before I do the giraffe in oils this is the uh finished piece doesn't look so good on the camera to be honest it but, looks better in real life yeah yeah that no, does Okay, so as request was to do a giraffe in oils um, without a reference picture. Great. <laughs> I don't think they said without a reference picture. They just said... I haven't I, got a reference picture. The, so, Anima Seed says, I want you to paint a yeah, giraffe and, in oils and then Bob Ross style. Yeah, well, no, I'm going to do it Bob Ross style. So, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't know, but well, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. So... <laughs> Um, it, it, it's a good suggestion and it's a good it's yeah. a good suggestion yeah. and it's something i've never done before so let's give it a shot cool. so um i forgot to tell well, you i've got to get a reference picture. picture i have to look one up go on sorry it's okay suki you're speaking really quickly because i'm new to oils myself there's one thing i i give you bad advice on one thing <laughs> You, when you're changing colors in oils, you're supposed to wipe off the excess color with yes. this issue and then use the soap. <laughs> That's why the soap is not working. That's why murky. the soap looks weird. <laughs> yeah, but you can wash the soap off. Uh, it's not supposed to be that bad. It's because I gave you bad advice. So you're supposed to wipe the excess oil, then use the soap and water, and then at the end wipe off again any excess oil. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. But there you have it. But at least it's been working for you, right? You, you were able to, to wipe off the excess oil anyway. Anything will work for me if I try hard enough. <laughs> okay. let's, let's, let's get an image of a giraffe on the, on the phone so that I can um, at least have this picture to go on. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's the easiest one. <laughs> you have to do a real giraffe. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm working on it. Would you mind giving me a cup of water? No, I, I'm in the middle of doing this. Sorry. Right, apologize. so I have a draft. <laughs> yes. I'm going to try and create this Bob Ross style cool. with oils. Now that, that focused well. There you go. Bob Ross style with oil, as requested. Um, and then after that, um, I'm going to stop it. Yeah. But first, a cup of water is always a good idea. Asukio. Oh, thank Come you on. ever so Come much. On. Thank you. Okay. Great. I appreciate that. Right. Here we go. So, I have a sponge here. I could have just cleaned it that way. <laughs> um, anyway. 
Yeah, this is really messed up now. Okay, so a giraffe, Bob Ross style. So, so these legs, these are the legs of the giraffe. Okay, I'm just going to draw first the basic outline of the giraffe, which is um, I've never drawn in my life before, and I'm doing it with paints. So I think the wisest move would be to draw it first. So I take that as the leg because I've already put the paint on the leg. Um, okay, so uh, very quick sketch, really, more than anything, just to get the outline. Go. There's one leg there. The other leg is hidden in this picture. Okay. Straight up here like this, as high as I can go. That looks stupid. Right, okay, and then the tail here, like so, and there we go, and then up like this, like that, to the top, high up in the air, like this, and then the ears are like here, like that, and then the horns, of course, okay, and there we go. Uh, like that, there we go, and there we go. So that's the basic sketch, and I'm ready to start coloring. So I'm first of all, I'm just going to color the whole thing in yellow because um, I need to get some kind of outline going. Uh, I can work on the spots afterwards, and it's not really a straight yellow. It's a it's a yellowy green yellow. It is kind of the color that the camp the camp that the giraffe actually is. Um, there we go. So first of all, we just paint the very simple, very simple, simple swishes of the brush. This is my Bob Ross, Bob Ross bit going on here. Stroking very carefully, very carefully, drawing the yellow outline around the giraffe, like so. Very simple, simple swishes, just so that we can get an outline. It looks like a draft. There, so shapes of the draft is working well. Um, and now it's time to add some detail. So first of all, I'm just gonna try and wash the brush. That's gonna be fun. Okay, and now um, it's going to be drying the brush. There we go. Uh, dark colours like the red. There we go. So now it's the spots of the draw. And this is how I sit. Dark patches. The starters. And little spots that all like each other. They're all friend, friendly spots. Friendly spots all over the all over the body. And now we'll go for the black. And I just turn I turned the um, the brush around so that I can create a brush effect. Oh, I can't do this all in one brush. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, right. This is a disaster, but then I've never done a um, draft before, so I think I'm doing okay. So let's do the horns. There we go, and the eyes, and the snout. I'm sorry, Anim Seeds, this is a, a complete disaster. It was an idea. I kind of it kind of looks really dodgy, but it looks okay on the picture and on the screen, so that's okay. Um, let me do a bit of a background color just to take away the pain of how bad this is. There we 
we go. Next time someone requests something, I'm not going to do it on the same video. <laughs> I'm going to prepare. But, you know, it's all experiments in the end. We do art for the fun of it. We don't do art for the, for the, for the audience. It's not about how many views or how many people are coming in. It's about making people happy with the art we do. And if they can laugh at how bad my, my painting is, then I've, I've succeeded. I've succeeded to bring joy into someone's life. And, uh, and that's more important than anything else, I think. And if I get views, then so be it. But um, that's just that's just purely so that I can make a living from making people enjoy my art. <laughs> and also, uh, obviously, um, if you do enjoy the art, and I, I'm a, I'm quite a new channel. Um, if you want to tell your friends about it, if you want to share this video with anyone, have a laugh. <laughs> say look at this bit where he really messes up the video <laughs> feel free i'm more than happy to take the criticism of how bad my art is i am not uh i'm not gonna say i'm good at what i do i'm gonna say i try my best to answer people's queries no matter how silly they are and maybe over the course of time i will get better but at the moment I'm going to say no. <laughs> Although it's not so bad looking at the screen. And I managed to use up most of my paints, which is the, was the goal of the day. And I'll be framing this one and putting it up on the wall because it is a, a memorable um, request. And of course, if Anna Mercedes wants to pay for it, I'm more than happy to sell it to her or him. What do you think, Sukio? Do you think it's a male or female? I think it's a guy. I think it's a guy. Yeah. Fair enough. Anna C does sound a bit masculine, I must admit. Yeah. If we're wrong, please please say on the screen. If you if you're still listening. If you haven't switched off and gone to sleep by now. I'm sure you're really excited actually with this drawing I'm doing for you, to be honest. I'm certainly excited. I'm probably more excited than you are. There, there we go, the red, I oh, know, a little bit more around the, around the face here just to take with the contrast. There we go. Hard done. Oh, you like it? Fantastic. Okay, well, and um, if you <laughs> like it, definitely leave a like. If you want to leave a comment later, then please do. And if you want to look watch me do crazy stuff on this channel, I do all sorts of things, cooking, I do... Um, uh, chats about things, we do film reviews, we do art, um, all this stuff, then please subscribe and then you'll get a message to say what we're about and stuff and, you know, enjoy whatever you want to do. And I'll hopefully see you on the next